All right, greetings family, I'm at Garvey Town and what we're looking at here, you'll see a red bus in the background and you see a few vehicles. This is the main road coming in and um, it's been re recently bulldozed so it looks a little rough and we show you some details on the map but this is literally the flow of the land uh, if you can follow the site map. And what Gary didn't talk about earlier is this area is going to be the shopping mall area. So what you're looking at is the uh, commercial district. Also on this side is the civic and public along with the utility posts. So these are all of the things at the beginning of the community including security posts and everything. So what you're seeing is this raw land family and uh, we use a site map and other things to get you to feel and look at it. But yes, this is the Garvey Town community in Gamor, Ezekua. Right? And it was a nice rainy day and that was clear. We have our group members that have went ahead um, and they're walking through the road, the main road that takes you to the beginning of the plots. And the plots are, you have 1 to 20, 21 to 40. And those are on two separate blocks. So that's what we're taking you to. And uh, bear with me while we speed up and run. And let me give you just a view of back where we came from. And also the, the school that we were at, that's a temporary location for the school. So the site map is what we're really going to be basing a lot of things off. All right, and family, base with me as we just uh, speed up and give you a faster view of everything. Okay. You gotta be careful here. The land is raining, so the land is a little wet. But we're gonna speed walk. So we're still in the same zone. This is still the Civic and public area. Right, all of this on the right. And then this main road takes you up to the plot while everything on your left is a commercial district, business, different industries that you need, general shopping. So it's a full-fledged community we are able to have all the things you need in the community itself. All right, so me and my brother Kobla is gonna fast forward a little bit and so you can see the rest of the actual community. But the main thing was just to clear the road into where we can all see our plots, which unfortunately when we came here in November, we weren't able to see that. So now, here in June, you know, roughly about six months later, uh, we are back. And this is some of the progress that we're showing you. I don't know you like that. This is a long walk, but what we do plan on the future is having different vehicles and things like that, so we can just drive through. So when you, if you want to get your um, get your golf cart, and so on. So let me show you see how far we have walked, and then we're some walking folks, so. Not everybody's used to walking like this, but... Cobla, come on, you're making me out doing the walk? All right, so this is where we're getting a little closer to the action. And as you can see, family, it is beautiful, beautiful greenery of land. 
Perfect for Black Power Nation building. That's what I see. Perfect yeah. family. Hello. So we're so coming through. Let me give y'all some See all those rocks y'all got all over the place? Over there. And family, I'm giving you a nice raw view of Gary Town. And we're clearing around the road. Right, perfect now family these are where our plots from 1 to 20 are and 21 to 40 All right, and give you a view of where we came from. So family, what I'm basically also saying to you that the 300 acres is huge. And then you see another building over there, that's okay. number two. Uh -huh. Between them runs a road. Okay. Alright, Garadina, repeat down. that one more time, Garadina, just for the, the record of if you can repeat a few things. This this bit of a building that you see here uh -huh. will be number one. Okay. Right? As in part um, one? I, right. All you ladies, please. I need we've already got Winnie Mandela, mm -hmm. right? And we've got Amwood Ashford Garvey, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I need the names. All the cul-de-sacs are going to be named after uh, African, Pan-African women. Okay, okay. Yes? Mm -hmm. Everything comes from our women. Okay. They're going to be named after Pan-African women. Okay. This road is going to be called Marcus Garvey Way. Okay. Right? That's the first one. Uh -huh. first, yeah, the, the road the from road. where you come in the gate okay. all the way around. It's okay. called Marcus Garvey Way. Okay. Right? And then after Marcus Garvey Way, it will be named after Pan African women. Women, okay. I'm right? Sure so I get them all you too. can all look up people that you think yeah. are worthy. And then we, when the community starts to develop, we will then decide on which woman we're named. But it's going to be after Pan African women. Okay, all right. <laughs> and also, Guardian, if you talked about plot 1 to 20 before, um, yes. <laughs> I just want to get a physical right. yeah. look at the location so, 1 right. to 20. So this is. This here is plot one. That's that where that building is is plot two. Yeah? The one over there is plot three. There sorry, plot two is over there. This is one, that's three, that's two. Yeah? I'm not understanding. Right. This, hold is, on, this, hold is, on, this hold is basically on. the first block of one yeah, to twenty on, plots. Hold on, hold on. One. The, yeah, the, the, the just plot, like on the map. The plot I'm, starts there, yeah? Okay. Right? It starts there. Right? Um if I'm not I'm not 100%. Stop a minute, Lee. Right, you see where the lady is there? Yes, uh huh. Right, the plot starts there. Right. Plot okay. one. Oh, okay, a plot starts there. <laughs> this is a 100 by a 100 plot. <laughs> it comes. 100 by 100. Yeah. I haven't got the measure, but I can do this roughly. And so. so, fam, this is the first block of one to twenty plots so we're looking at. This is where this plot ends. Yeah. So the first one, which is 100 right. by 100. So it's 100 by 100. It goes oh, and it goes up to here. Yes. 100 by 100 plots. Right. So this is 100 by 100 plots. Uh, we started building a building on it. Uh, we ran out of money. So we stopped mm -hmm. and, um, you heard me, we stopped without being able, it wasn't a phase down stop, it was a money's done, 
stop. Right, okay. So there was damage that was done because there was work that needed to be continued. The cement weren't there and so on. Okay. Yeah? So there's damage that is done. Uh, yes, okay. um, the guys are working on this. We took the roof off of this. Um, we bought some tiles and we were cheated. Um, the tiles are not waterproof. So we had to take the roof off because it's been leaking for 14 years. Oh. We didn't even have the money to take the roof off of it and re-house it, yeah? Redo it. So, they so it leaked. So we've taken it down and we're now in the process of um, redoing the roof. We're not going to use the tiles anymore. We're going to use a different roofing material. Right, so this road goes through this way. Okay. Straight through the bamboo there. Okay. Yeah? All right. Right? Oh, so I got you. So this is one to 20 that way. No, and, no, no, no. And then go over this. This is one, three, five, seven, nine. Odd number. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Odd but I'm numbers. saying basically. And this is two, four, six, even eight. Okay. Even yeah. number. Oh, yeah, so, okay. this, so this side represents one, one to 20. So, yes. Yeah. So yeah. this is. One to twenty. Okay. I call the family. First, yeah. The so first family, when you're looking at it on the map, on the site map, family, the one to twenty represent what we're looking at. Perfect. Okay. So, if we go down, so you have odd numbers to the right, even numbers to the left. Material. Please. Please, I'm asking everybody be careful, yeah? The guys who were working up here um, yesterday. Yeah, I told them not to work yeah, today because we were going to um, okay. get rid of supplies that they huge Right, this is of. a rammed earth building. Okay, rammed earth. Yeah, it's, it's a rammed earth it's building. And for those who does not understand the terminology, if you can just right. give a definition. Right. Um, rammed earth buildings, it's a traditional method of building buildings in Africa and second. South America. Let's Let's wait for those people come. to come up first yeah. and then. Good, thank you. So that we don't repeat ourselves, you know what I mean? I don't think they're interested in here. They thought they have a separate conversation. But also, that, that's why we record everything so when people go back and watch yeah. it. Because sometimes... Yeah, um, so they can, yeah. We'll wait for them anyway. Yeah. Because we still need to have a group. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the guys at the back are no, the workers. The workers so. isn't it? Yeah. No, but these people here. These yes. people here. Yeah. Right. So the, the, these, all three buildings uh, that we started were rammed earth. Okay. Yeah? All right. They're different techniques of rammed earth building okay right so what happened is this this one um forget the blocks on the top there mm -hmm. yeah that's just support for the type of roofing we were gonna use okay yeah? so that's why it's there and that's like plot four or plot two mm? no that's that's plot two plot two all right yeah. so that's all two right there yeah that's oh, 100 that, that, by 100 i uh, know that's one two five by 100. okay oh, big one yeah right now what happened is that plot that building is the traditional rammed earth building. Okay, aside right? from the top. Uh -huh. Yeah, aside, aside from the top, the top yeah. yeah. Um, what it is, is you put a form up, you pour your material in, and you ram it into something mm -hmm. like stone. When you come back, you'll if you touch the walls there, mm -hmm. you'll know what I'm on. Before we plastered it over, mm -hmm. okay. yeah? Okay. It was it's like that like wall that. there. Right. Yes? but. This is done in the traditional manner. There is no steel inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah? It's just the way our ancestors did it. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And not using steel save you a lot of money, but also how do you protect the structural integrity? Uh, right. Yeah, the, the structural integrity are... is protected because the material is what's referred to as being elastic. Mm -hmm. So in an earthquake, it actually moves. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, because um, flexibility. So, yeah. yeah, so it's flexible. So, what happens is it doesn't <coughs> break um, the way that a block building would break. That's rigid. It's steel in it, quite, quite tough. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Right? So, this one is totally traditional. This one here is the method they're now using in California. Oh, okay. They put the concrete pillar, concrete pillar, and then they put the thing and they ram in between. Right, okay. Yes? So, you have a superstructure which is made up of concrete pillars mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and with that technique you can go up well, up to seven floors oh, okay. Mm -hmm. right with this technique you can go up a maximum of three floors with this one right now this one is a third technique yeah which is you make what's called rammed earth blocks they're on the yeah windowsill there yeah okay. breeze block yeah 
right? Mm -hmm. But they're not sand and cement, they're rammed earth blocks. Okay. So we ram the blocks and then we lay the blocks in a crisscross manner, <laughs> right? To give you the strength of the building. Okay. Right? Now this building has a a tree fall down on it. It's not fall down, cut and filled on it at the back corner here. Back corner. Right, yeah. Um, Yes. Oh, yeah, that's that's the other thing. Okay. Sorry, it's a good thing he's here to remind me of. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Rammed earth buildings, yes? A, a, a normal concrete building, yes? Here in Africa. Absorbs uh, From 6 o'clock in the morning, it starts to soak heat. Yes? Okay. And it stops soaking heat round about five o'clock in the evening, okay. yes? And then it starts to slowly release heat. Mm -hmm. And round about 10 o'clock at up, night, which is when you're likely to be in your bed, mm -hmm. inside of your house becomes as hot as it was outside in the morning. at midday. <laughs> you with me, right? So now you have to use air conditioning and fans and everything to cool you down. What a rammed earth building does is it doesn't soak the heat. Okay. It blocks it. That's why when you plant something in the ground, the, you plant in the first few inches of soil. Because after that, the soil will stop the heat. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Soil. So what happened is rammed earth is subsoil. Okay. We've rammed it. Right, and what happens is the, the heat is blocked by it, yes? So the temperature mm -hmm. is the same morning, noon, and night. Okay, okay. They walk in there, they'll be cool, they'll be cool if you now. walk inside, it was better when the roof was on, mm -hmm. but we had to do the work. When the bulldozers start, they bang the bottom of the building, and the, where the tree had fallen, it, the damage got worse, and so we're doing the repairs, yeah. So the solar, do you also do solar? Because the solar is right. for the I, I personally don't do solar. Okay. Um, what happens is the electrician, right. yeah, who's over there somewhere, among them guys you see standing over there, uh -huh. uh, he will organize the solar. What I am hoping, I was reading on the Garvitown Initiative site, mm -hmm. and some brothers were talking about solar. Mm -hmm. And what I sent a message to them, but <laughs> there was no response. I am hoping mm -hmm. that we can work out something with them where we can manufacture our own solar cells. Right, okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then set up. Because the, the big part of the problem is we're buying this stuff from outside of Africa. Okay. You would be and the materials to make it is here in Africa. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You just you, solar cells are cheaper now, okay? Yes. Yeah. They have solar cells now where they're almost like a thin piece of plastic. Yeah. You can just put them on the side of your roof. Yeah. Windows put and them, stuff. Put yeah. them on the top of the house. Yeah. You don't have to do all that drilling and installation. Mm -hmm. You got to read this high-tech science that's coming out. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that's coming out. If you're going to get solar, get the best. This stuff was made at MIT. Well, this, the thing about, uh, one of the things that, that, that we are not against is any African who wants to come and be part of Garvitown, mm -hmm. who has that technological ability or knowledge mm -hmm. to come and feed into the community. Mm -hmm. Because we can't do everything. Oh, I know. You, you, you understand what I'm saying, yeah. Elder? So what we're looking for is people that want to come to Garvitown, who want to be a part of it, who want to, who want to help Garvitown grow. You, you probably don't want to come and live in Garvitown, but you just like the vision of Garvey and you want to make it happen. If you got that technological capability as an African, mm -hmm. then we welcome you. Mm -hmm. You know, right. come and uh, help us, yeah. teach us how to do it. But we come this with the, is a three bedroom. Come with the, the, the yeah. initiative it's that you're coming to teach. Bedrooms, three bars. Because we need to create three everything bedrooms, we want for ourselves. Hmm? This house. So we can start uh, exporting. Right, okay. You, you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Because anywhere you go in the African world, we're importing. Three, yeah. And Which we need to start problem. exporting. So we need to create out so for ourselves, out. just like what Garvey did right. in Harlem. Don't you know? Import, export, everything. Don't consume, produce. Yeah. 
No, we consume, but I think we consume too much and we need to reduce that consumption to ourselves because we're throwing away our own our own money. So that, that, that's what I would say about that. The whole continent. Can I, can I, um... I know Sir Gary Dina, you're explaining what uh, type of house this is. Uh, three bedroom, two bathroom. Yeah, it's, it's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a small utility room, uh, kitchen, uh, sort of breakfast room, and um, there's That's no dining room and a living room, uh, about 20 foot by, I think, 12. Yes, that's the kind of like the average what people be open to. So what is the price on something like this based on right. um, or estimate? Estimated. It's about 30, Ramder, yeah? Yeah. It's about 35,000 US dollars. Yes. Yeah, I figure it'd be between 30 and 50, yeah. Yeah, it's about 35,000 US dollars. Um, but I, I was saying to a sister that it depends what you tell me that you want in it when the thing, so the shell will cost you about that. But then when you start talking about the toilet, that the specific toilet you want, or the specific type of box so or the type of sure. tile sure. or thing it you can push the price thing so it's not a generic thing each person will say what they want in there and then we will adjust the price depending on the materials that they want us to use but the ramder thing with the roof ceiling doors and windows yeah will come up about 35,000, you will get, tight, yes, you'll get um, uh, your tiling to what they call splash level in your bathroom. You'll get tiling atop your worktop. In the kitchen, you'll get some basic worktops underneath the sink and a couple of wall cupboards. But if you want to start going into the thing of it, then it depends on the materials you choose and so on. Yeah? Absolutely. So, and also, um, just to add to what my brother just said, that would depend on the time when you when you ordered that, that building to be built. So mm -hmm. if you ordered it today, it'd probably be that price. But if you come six, seven months later, it probably changed. Just only right. in that material yes. goes Inflation up. Inflation here, building material. Quickly. Inflation in the buildings industry is terrible. Mm -hmm. So yes, because sometimes season or bit, or yeah, yeah, it's seasonal. Yeah, it's seasonal. It's seasonal. So, that's what so if you're building at certain times of the year, it's gonna cost you a lot more than at other times. And usually summer. Huh? Summer prices go uh, up. Maybe here. Not, yeah, not, not, yeah. I know in the no, states no, no, they no. go. It, yeah, here it's usually because of like things like uh, the rainy season when materials become more expensive. You with me to move about oh, and so on. Oh, okay, rainy season. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of roof? You're saying you're not going right. with that. We're not nice. going with the tiles because, right, right. Like you said. if you all look, you can see. Mm -hmm. This is what they did to us. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you see the inside of the tiles wet? Was that a white company or a black company? Uh, it's, it's a black, black company, jewelry. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I love it. Do we need to get them for you? No. We, what happened is there are other companies out there that offer other roofing materials. My brother Kwame over there is into felt. Yeah, um, I might end up using felt on it. You let Kwame explain today. You wouldn't do the tin roof. Yeah, we're gonna do some tin roofs. What what we're doing is we're gonna do different types of roofs on these three buildings, so that. Like when you when someone comes, yes. they are they able to yes. have example. Uh, yes, yeah. you with me. Tell so, me why that cracked. I'm sorry. Hmm? After you finish, tell me why. It's, it's right. Uh, with this, this, this is plaster. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Sand and cement plaster. Okay. Um, and it's shot. Uh, a rammed earth building needs people living inside, uh -huh. and um, it needs maintenance. Right. This building has been sitting in the bush for 14 years. Oh, okay, okay. Um, apart from every now and then when somebody comes to the thing and we weed a line to it and I say to people, go inside, feel mm -hmm. what the benefits of a rammed earth building is like, mm -hmm. nobody don't really go in there. Okay. And so over time, this is what started to happen. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. thing. But someone fell a building, a tree, a large tree, mm -hmm. on the side of the roof and building over there. And the jerk, spread the cracks in the plaster. Oh, so okay. we chiseled off to make sure, yeah, that and it's not the structure of the building that's actually damaged. Yeah, you with me? Right? 
So when it right. I was just so what happens, happens America, is foundational cracks. So that's right. No, no, no. The foundations no, are foundational fine. Yeah, Found no, that's this so this that's cracking. Mm -hmm. It's not the building. It's not the wall of the building that's no. cracked all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the plaster. Right. Yeah. The plaster see, shot. Look, yeah. You can see yeah. It's, yeah. it's solid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, what happened was they he dropped a tree. Right. That was over there. He dropped it on this corner of the building. And the vibration at the tree eating the building mm -hmm. broke it. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So we started out to repair this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we noticed that the plaster shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From all the years of neglect. And so we're going to do all of that. But we took off the roof because, like I showed you, the tiles are no good. Remember, remember yeah? that it's not painted or nothing. Right. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. You understand so. yeah. How long would you expect around it to last? Right. The oldest building in Ghana. It's rammed earth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'll tell you. It's, uh, it's more than 600 years old. Okay. It's a mosque in the north of Ghana. It's rammed earth. It's maintained um, by a team of guys mm -hmm. that maintain it. Um, right, like you see, we've dug out here. We will rebuild okay. that block, those blocks, mm -hmm. but we'll rebuild them in place. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you know the... the um, the University uh -huh. of Timbuktu. Right. Uh, this plot yeah. you know, ends that's, where that's you rammed are. earth. Okay. Madam, uh, that's rammed earth. This plot. Uh -huh. And that's been there from the 11th okay. century. Right? So these are other plots. Right? Okay. So we've cleared down to the bottom of this cul de sac. Yeah? Um, the bamboos were killing me financially because they drink. When the bulldozer tries to pull the bam push the bamboo, it drinks fuel. Oh. Um, so what we're doing is we're taking the bamboo by getting people to cut them down uh -huh. so that we reduce the cost of because it was too much. Okay. Right. Now the these there's two plots here. Right? Yep. Um, the brother. Right. Yeah. There's um, two plots here. Yeah. Because this is where the sports facility will be. So there's two plots. So these two plots are set back, and the two plots that are over there are set back. Yeah. So you've got a line as normal, but these ones, the plot come right back. So this is the starting point for the plot. And then it goes back. And now, uh, what plot numbers are we at right now? Uh, this is to give people an idea. This is seven and nine. So, so family, we're still looking at one to so twenty. Hmm? Yes, these are. No, the other, it, and now, what I'll do is I'll email you the list, Barbara, of okay. everybody who purchased okay. plots and what's available. Yeah. Uh, but the first uh, first two blocks have pretty much filled up. Oh yeah. They're filling up. That's right. They are. Right. So these, these, this is um, seven and nine. Our coastal family. Yeah. Um, right. Plot seven and nine. And then that means you have eight and ten over here. Right. Eleven starts. You see that tree stump? Uh, there's a tree stump standing up on its own next right. to the this. Right. Eleven starts there. And then that's perfect. Uh, you know, right over here would be a good a good end point. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. We, we think. I just wanna think. So your plot, Bumani, starts just down there. <laughs> yeah, and um, we have um, we actually have our uh, yeah, uh -huh. 38, 30, huh? 30, This is the start of plot number eleven. Oh, okay, okay. Right. So we're on to the oh. second. So. Yeah, cold effect. No, 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 no. no this is all the first cold effect. Oh, this is all, all the of this. Oh, oh, this is this the first. Is the first yeah, we're dealing with one to twenty. This is still yeah, one to twenty. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's okay. so much more that we're not going to yeah. get to see. Okay. It is, it is, it's, 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 and it's a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> and, and, of work. and that's what the next thing for us to do. We're going to get you the, the clearing land fee yeah. when I get back. Right. That so, way we can work so, on the next yeah, part. We've, we've phase. been clearing, okay. as you see, but we haven't thing. We've gone um, the second cul-de-sac. We've gone and we've started clearing from there, going back. Okay. So there's space cleared wow. behind these trees that you're seeing here. Wow, I'm far back. But you have five years to go from 
beginning to completing a house because we yes. just can't have half yeah. completed houses mm -hmm. out yeah. here or no, you know. So yeah. it's important that people know that once they get their plot, their plot, they need to go ahead and start building. Yeah. Yes. yeah, that's that's, that's an, an issue. The, um, you need to um, be completed within five years. Oh. Right? So are the you building. telling me my plot 79 and 80 is way? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> right. Um, the boundary uh -huh. for the cul-de-sac start. You see where the, we finish clearing? Uh huh. Right. So that should be 19 so, and 20. Uh -huh. no, 19 and 20 are, you see there's a mango tree here. Right, the mango tree. Yes, uh -huh. right. 20 is on that side, 19 is on this side. Okay. Perfect the family. Tree is. That's one to right. 20 family. And then the, the other mango tree that you see at the back there, that's where the apartment block's going to be. Yeah. yeah. So perfect. And then right. the next then it over, carries over, on over and way. over. So yeah. we've, we've started clearing at the back. Uh, there's some land in between cul-de-sac one and two that's mm -hmm. meant for farming mm -hmm. so we were trying to stop because we started clearing it and it's costing <laughs> it. so we were trying to stop so we went round this way mm -hmm. and i've gone in the back mm -hmm. okay, so mm -hmm. this is what we're looking at on the horizon right so time. you're yeah. you're looking no going down yeah mm -hmm. um we end down there there's a mango tree mm -hmm. at the back there we end there so what and you then, have is like one to twenty yeah yeah. That's boundary. 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Yeah. So and tell then, me, what is that road that we came up where he parked the bus? Does that have a name to it? Uh, yeah. That's the Koniaku Road. Koniaku. Koniaku. Okay, Koniaku Road. All the way from the street yes, that we it came takes up. Okay. Yeah, right. Um, so we go this way. To, you see, there's a tree over there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Um, Which one? Above, Which one? Oh, sorry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. There, there is a tree above everything above else. Oh, the big tall one. Yeah, the tallest tree. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that oh is on that the edge of the forest. Okay. Yes. Uh, there's a small piece of Garvey Town mm -hmm. that we were planning to leave as a forest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So that, that's on the edge of that forest. Okay. Yeah. Um, so cul-de-sacs one to eight are along this line, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, eight is from there, but it, sh it goes like this. It come out a little bit, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. right. It's yeah. going down. Eight, ten, yeah. uh, seven and nine come out a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right, no, no, it's nine, nine and nine, seven uh, that are low, yeah? The other Fine. eight is high. Eight, eight is at the eight. highest point. Oh, eight, ten is at the highest. Eight is at the highest point. Where that um, uh, founder's cul-de-sac is that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. That's at the highest point of the site. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it goes round and then the site goes back over that way. Because that road you came up, it comes this way and then it goes back this way. Okay. So the shape of the site. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Right. So. So it's a perfect oh. idea, and, and unfortunately, we got to start, yes, we start need to yes. close now so we can do our presentation yes. at the yes. school. Uh -huh. See, but, um, brother was asking color scheme. How many different color schemes? Ah, hear me. That issues like that are things this uh, that a community makes their decision. I said four different colors. Uh -huh. You mean for the house? People color can choose for the from, so it won't be. You mean all crazy looking? Good point. Like a community, uh -huh. you can choose four different colors. Oh, okay. suggest that. I mean, you're talking about if it's going to be red tone. What are you talking about? The, the, the roof, or are you talking house. about? So it could be uh, neutral colors, uh -huh. or it could be the, uh, African colors. Uh -huh. But four different colors a, a person can choose. Call the house. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, me, I wanted to paint my house like. Um, uh, showing a woman paints her house in Zimbabwe, um, and that's a whole heap of colors. It's like uh, you mean the outside what of the they house. call yeah the outside of the house. It's like what they call modern art. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, now <laughs> in the West, well, you find showing a woman used to use that and decorate the outside of their houses, and that's how I would like the outside of my house to be. But I'm only speaking for me. At the end of the day, if the community decides they only want four colors, then you with me. I'll have to that, abide by it. When, but <laughs> when will that 
how will that will it be ta taking a vote to make sure that we understand when we the, get it built? Or? Right, there are 20 houses on this cul de sac. Okay. Yeah. Um, the people who live in those 20 houses will make all the regulations that affect those 20 houses. Okay. Yeah. But I want mine built by next year. Is that going to be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You, you, what we're talking about here is decoration. Right, right. Color. On the outside. Yeah, the color, the okay. outside color. So that's decoration. You can change that I just want to even color color makes, you know, thing, you know what I mean? The roof will be one color. Slate? Would it be slate? Or uh, <laughs> no, we were, we, were, we were thinking about using... Slate is very difficult to get hold of here. Um, so there is... Um, all right, family, we have given you a beautiful overview of the beginning of Garvey Town to the first 20 plots. We're about to close out now, family, and uh, head back to the, the front of the community and close out on our presentation and, and uh, head to get our early dinner. But family, if you're interested in Garvey Town community, I have all of the paperwork and all the details and everything to get you going. And then my partners here will make sure that you're taken care of and just giving you a nice flow of the land. And in this direction, you have the first one to 20, then the next 20, and so on and so on, going back in that direction. If there's anything else anybody wants to ask, right, one thing, one thing, mm -hmm. let me explain something to you. Uh, that tree, mm -hmm. yes, it's 13 years old. Okay. What? Which one? The Which big one? one? The very tall one? That, yes. The tallest one. Uh -huh. I planted that. 13 years ago, Why? so that I could know where the this bulge in the cul-de-sac You're talking about a very big one. The very big one. Okay. That goes that fast in 13 years? Yes. I've like been there for like a, a good... Like 100, uh, huh? 15 years ago when we got this site, we were farming here. Yeah. Oh, okay. We were growing cabbages and yams. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right? So please, when we talk about we clear and you start, <laughs> I'm trying to put it into perspective. Okay. Right. Yeah? Okay. Right? Yeah. Wow. Right? Yeah. This is an anina tree. What, what tree? What, okay. Anina. That's an anina tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, that grows about six inches every night. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Anina. 